What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm so happy we finally got the 240 back and she sounds so good. What do you guys think about the exhaust we put on there? And if you haven't seen that video, swipe up right now. The link is gonna be right here. Um, but yeah, if you guys remember in the last vlog, Mikey's axle popped out of the truck. So we're gonna go take that um, and drop off the truck. So hopefully that gets fixed. And we just got a call from JDM of California that the new heart for the RSX is in. Um, and if you guys can guess what engine we're throwing into the RSX, then I'll send you guys a free Stan Society shirt, but I'm very excited. We are upgrading the engine, um, but I'm going to just give you guys a little hint. It's not a crazy upgrade, but it is an upgrade from um, the K20 that it had in there before. So uh, we are going to drop off the truck right now, and then I think we're going to go to U-Haul and rent out a truck since the silver dough is out of commission. And then uh, we're going to head to JDM of California and pick up the new heart for the RSX. All right, we just picked up our truck from U-Haul. Look at this bad boy. Hell yeah. This is the new whip for the day. Look at Mike already in there. Whoa. Dude, I'm not trying to get pregnant what on this happened? trip, what bro. Happened? Whoa. Yeah, out. All right, we just made it to J. Oh, shit, I was still in drive. <laughs> <laughs> bro, door's open. I'm out the car. You would have killed me. <laughs> you for just... sure would have killed me. Perfect. So we're here at JD Mo, California. We are about to pick up the new engine for the RSX. Um, kind of new with the K series engine. So I know the RSX has a K20Z, but we're going to upgrade a little bit bigger. We're going to go with the K. 24 um but yeah we're here at jdm of california and if you need any kind of stuff look at everything that jdm of california has here like look at these recaro seats they literally have recaro seats like crazy you have the supras you have clips literally anything you need they do full car um yeah i think they have everything here dude look at they have yeah STI they have they have, a, they have a full uh, car import if you guys want to import your own car they do they do Damn, they, I see, I they can do a that. full car import for you um they can get anything you guys need anything like i said um you guys looking for coilovers hoods and all that stuff you guys messed up your front ends they will get you anything you guys need look at this even euro it's sick it's tight Probably take it away. What else? Dude, no lie. They have front clips. They have seats. We have, have ST. Coils. We have STI motors already with HK's ball valves fully set up. Yeah. Dude, talk to us. Talk to us. We have ready, coils. Bro. What else? <laughs> dude, they got <laughs> everything. Talk, dude. Sorry. <laughs> they have coils. They have tail lights. Dude, they have anything. Dude. So, I mean, if you guys, if you guys need engines or anything like that, bro, I'd say come to JDM California. Should we just say forget the K24 and just go 2J? You can't put that in the RSX. You who? can't. I can do whatever I want. Dude, not allowed to? Because if you're going to do that, you might as well put the goddamn LS400 inside the RSX. Whoa, focus on me. And drop this into the 4... Oh, in the 420. <laughs> the 240. <laughs> See, I'm thinking about... I'm thinking about... Uh, beep, 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 drugs. Yeah, that is. <laughs> All right, well, um, let's let them do their test and then we'll be back. All right, sweet. Uh, bye, Paul. And this is kind of just so you guys could know what to expect when you come to JDM California. They compression test everything for you to make sure they're selling you a good engine. It's none of that, oh, you might get something good, you might not. You're getting good stuff here. Uh, I mean, the uh, containers and everything usually take to come from Japan and stuff. About three months. Sheesh! So it sits for a while. Huh? Yeah. That's how long it sits there. Nice. We're good to go. Cool. A28.org. Perfect. Well, David, thank you so much. For I sure, appreciate brother. you. Thank you for coming. Like I told you guys, here. if you need any kind of engines, any kind of JDM parts, anything at all, JDM of California it, right here Thank in you, Ontario. Guys. Ask for David yeah. and they can get you squared away. Thank, Thank you, guys. man. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you it, man. Moment. Thank you again. Take care, guys. You and too. And if you guys wanted to know, look at, you can come here and then Anna will do TikTok dances for you.
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she will do TikTok dances for you. I can oh. see burritos. Oh, oh. let's see, oh. let's see. Oh, hey. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no. Bye, guys. Whoa, how'd you hop over that so fast? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course, sir. Is that our motor back there, bro? That is it. Look at that. As we walk into the tunnel of light. As we walk in the shadows of the valley of death. Oh, oh whoa, sorry, whoa. Sorry. Whoa. No, is that... As we walk into the tunnel of light, you can see that we are getting closer and closer to the <laughs> RSI. <laughs> Damn, boy! Hi, Vic. How you doing? Good. Uh, we you brought still you. mad at your mom for breaking your car? I sure am, dude. Actually, uh, it's kind of like, kind of a blessing in disguise that she broke it, but we brought you a surprise. Well, more than you, oh. more Luis a surprise. The oh. new engine is here. Oh, I was going to say another broken car. <laughs> uh, no, we two broken cars is more than enough, Mike. It's okay. Look, he's sad. He's like a sad little puppy right now. Why are you acting like you got another broken car, Mike? <laughs> The model yeah, well, no, yeah, it is broken. My truck fucking asshole yeah. that fell completely out of the guy at wheel bearing the other day. No, oh, no. Sheesh. Just in case you guys didn't see the last vlog, this is what the RSX is looking like right now. Uh, but once we get this engine out of here, uh, I'll probably sell it for the low low uh, to anyone that wants to pick up a K20. So we are officially leaving the K24 here as a little secret between you and me. JDM of California told me this is the same exact engine that Eliminate and Randy are throwing in the R34. So that's super exciting on the RSX. Um, I do have future plans of maybe giving the RSX away to one of you guys. So you guys are in luck. You guys are getting a bigger engine and not only a bigger engine, an engine that uh, Randy from Eliminate is using in the R34. Um, like I said, there's only a couple things missing in here. We need a new ECU for it, but everything else is ready to throw into the um, RSX. But I want to know what you guys have to say. Should we throw while everything's out? I mean, obviously I am going to upgrade the engine and do a couple things to it, but I don't know while it's out, maybe I might upgrade the, the down pipe, the headers. I don't know just yet, but we'll figure it out as, uh, as we go with it. Alrighty, we're back home and really quickly before I end this vlog, I actually want to install seatbelts back into the 240. So um, the 240 is actually sponsored by, I was trying to think of the company name, I can't find the company name for sure, but I'll for sure put the information right here. But Miles is sponsoring the 240 and is going to put a roll cage in here um, for free. So I took the seatbelts and everything out of the 240, but everything kind of just like has been backtracked a little bit. And since I do want to drive the car right now, since the RSX is down and is going through the engine swap um, I'm gonna put the seatbelts back into the 240 so we can drive around legally and not have to deal with cops at all and the seatbelts we're gonna put in there are actually JDM manual seatbelts I bought these for the 240 back when I was like 19 and they were pretty expensive um, but here are the seatbelts they are manual so I don't really like none of that automatic stuff so let's just go ahead and throw this back into the 240 really quickly and then uh, we'll be able to officially 100% drive the 240 from now on and not have to deal with any kind of like cop situation or anything like that which by the way when I take these seatbelts off again they will be for sale so any of my 240 guys that want manual seatbelts and don't like that automatic stuff bang my line I'll give you guys a good deal on them Alrighty, I wanted to show you really quickly how everything looks installed. It's super straightforward, super simple, and it gets rid of those ugly looking automatic seatbelts and it turns into these manual seatbelts. To put this over the panel is also really simple. Um, I know you need specific panels for manual seatbelts, but literally what I ended up doing was just cutting a hole on my automatic um, trim and that worked just as well. Then all you do is literally slip the seat belts in through it and then you're going to do the same for the buckle part and then you are just going to tie it down to your seat belt um to your seat belt placement down there and then your manual seat belts work so let's do that real fast and just like that everything is put back in here your manual seat belt works nice and easy and honestly like i said i think that looks a lot nicer than the automatic seat belts but what do you guys think do you guys prefer manual seat belts or those auto seat belts um but yeah at least now we can officially drive the 240 everywhere insurance and registration is up to date everything is good on the 240 to drive oh with that little install being done 
Um, today's vlog is done. Like I said, I am super, super excited to throw that K24 into the RSX. It's a bigger engine. And like I said, we have everything for the car, for the engine to be just swapped into the RSX, except for the ECU. We need to get a K-Pro uh, tune on the ECU to run the bigger engine. And then I think honestly with that, I'm probably gonna throw bigger injectors into the, um, into the engine as well. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll decide that once the engine is all going into the car. I'll probably throw a new pulleys on that and everything just to leave the engine nice and clean. Um, but I'm super excited. I wanna know what you guys think. And the coolest thing about this K-Pro uh, ECU that we're gonna have to do is that we get to tune it. It's gonna have all kinds of cool goodies with it. So I can't wait for the Acura to actually be running again. And then from there, we can move forward to the body kit and everything else we have to do to it. Um, but till next time, guys, thank you for watching the vlog. And I wish you guys nothing but positivity and good energy. Peace.